Hello. <coughs> Hello, welcome to How to Wednesday. Today I'm going to show you how to get into your Badog's web user interface for the encoder or decoder and be able to adjust the settings. Let's get started, guys. On my right side, I have the Badog Flex 4K units, the Flex 4K backpack, and the Flex 4K in. These are purely encoders. And then I have a monitor which you are going to see the loop out video from the Badog encoder. I have a HDMI cable, an Ethernet CAT6 cable, a very, very important one. You can't miss this. I have a laptop, which is where we are going to do our configuration of the web browser from. And then I have the Bad Dog Mini and the Bad Dog Studio NDI. These can do either encoding or decoding. So they can do both encode and decode. I have this JVC camera, which only outputs SDI and HDMI outputs. So we are going to make the HDMI output from this camera to be NDI using the Bad Dog encoder. For today's focus, guys, we are going to use the Bad Dog Studio NDI, which has both SDI and HDMI ports and can do both encoding and decoding. So let's get started. Guys, this is it. As simple as that. I have my camera connected to my Bad Dog unit right here as HDMI input. And then I have one Ethernet cable, one end on the Bad Dog unit and the other end on my laptop. I have my power cable definitely powering the Bad Dog unit and an SDI cable running all the way to my monitor for us to be able to see the loop out. But again, First things first, before we get to the web browser interface, we need to make sure that we have our laptop on the same network as the Bad Dog unit. And that is what I'm going to show you just right now. This is where you go when you want to change the network settings. You right click and then open internet and network settings. On the ethernet option, you come to change adapter option. If you have more than one ethernet port on your PC, you'll be able to see which port has the cable connected to. Since my laptop has only one port, you right click on that option and then go to properties. This is where you change. I had already configured mine, which is 192.168.100.15. Bad Dog has a default IP address of 192.168.100.100. So I only changed the last digit on my IP address. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. That is how it's always been. And then once you have all that configured, you're good to go. And now you can access your web browser interface. I'll open my Google Chrome. What you do here is you just type the IP address of your Bad Dog unit, which is 192.168.100.100. And then there we go. We have the interface already opened but first of all you have to log in the default password is always bad dog but once you log in you can change the password our interface is already open the first option we have is the bad dog dashboard on the dashboard is where you get all the information about the configurations on your unit and then we have network this is where you're able to change your network settings to be either on static or dynamic on the system settings this is where you change your password and then we have other configurations as well. But our main interest for today is the AV setup because this is where you configure if you want your bad dog to either encode or decode. For today we are going to do only encoding. You'll check the AV input. We have the audio setup which is on. If you have audio coming in embedded on your SDI or HDMI and then the input select. Right now, I have mine on auto. This means that if I have my input either SDI or HDMI, it will be automatically picked. But you can go as well and just specify if you have an SDI or HDMI source coming into your unit. And then we have the AV output. 
This is where you, sell, you come to configure if you want your unit to do either encoding or decoding or have the SDI and HDMI output on your unit to have the loop feed of the video. Right now you see it's on decode and then we have the Bad Dog Studio NDI logo and the unit itself there. But if I select loop, you'll be able to see a video that is, being, that is coming in via the HDMI being uh, looped out via the SDI. Under NDI decode, this is where you will be able to see all the sources on your network and then select which source to decode. On the dashboard, I'm able to see that my bad dog is receiving a HDMI feed, which is 1080i25. That is the resolution and the frame rate of the feed that is coming in from my camera to my unit. So I, ha I should be having my video already encoding. What we are going to do for us to be able to know if the video is already being encoded, I'm going to use NewTek free tool which is called the NDI Studio Monitor to be able to monitor that NDI feed. Once I have it open, come here and then select the source which is Bad Dog and there we go guys. This is the source I have right here, a live camera. Our unit is encoding a feed right now and we can see this source on the network. This is it guys for the encode part. On our next video we'll be showing you how to do the decoding of an NDI feed and have it out via SDI or HDMI for the Bad Dog Studio NDI. So guys, if you want to learn more about this or if you want to get a Bad Dog unit, you know where to find us. And as well, you can reach us on our website www.highwayav.co.ke and we have all units there. You can come in for demo as well. So until next time.